Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so we are going to be doing some shoulder exercises. Um, I wanted to show you these. These are called sweet sweats. So these are like, um, they basically are thermal, so they apply extra heat to a certain area. You can get them for your legs, thighs, for girls. You can get them for abs. Um, I'm not sure where else they have them for. Maybe something up here in the arms if you have like, some tricep issues, which that's mostly women as well. But anyway, they do have them for guys. If you decide you want to go that route, uh, again, it's thermal, so it, it causes you to kind of sweat more in certain areas. They're super cool. I really like them. So you might look at that. Okay. So let's go ahead and find a weight here that's not going to kill me because I've already done this about four times this week. Okay. So the first one you're going to do is I want you to rotate your arms down and then bring them up and then to a shoulder press. Okay. So down, up. Press, down, rotate. And as you rotate, you're gonna feel it agitate the traps, the shoulders, the biceps, the triceps. Okay, there is no way around these. These are kind of like, they have machines in the gym that do this, but I actually prefer to do it with free weights because it puts more pressure on your lats. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the, the um, gold gym guy position, stand, and look, close adductors. So close it, bring it in. But the thing that you want to remember is that you've got to keep your arms up. If your arms start to do this, you need to drop the weight. So we're applying a lot of pressure to the traps here. Open. Squeeze. Open. You like my dog playing with his toy? Remember we want to do four rounds, 30 seconds, and then we want to take a break. Obviously 10 seconds, 20 seconds in between, and then we're going to repeat all four of these. So that was exercise two. Exercise three is a press and you're going to be used to doing presses at the gym so this is not going to be any big deal but i want you to focus on the shoulder not the chest although you are going to have some chest engagement because you're going to squeeze so what i'm going to do is hammer so you're going to hold the weights like this normally a chest press you would bring your hands down or you would bring your you know arms way down here i want you to keep the weights right here we're not going to do any crazy big flies or anything like that. And I just want you to go up and down right here. Shoulder width apart, up and down. Two, three, boom, four, five. Now the chest is squeezed and you need to squeeze your abs, but you're, again, burning out those ch the shoulders and the tricep. So go. Two, three, for 30 seconds. Five. And what I would do is just set a timer. Um, and then slow your pace down if you start to just really fatigue and drop the weight if you need to on those last, you know, set or two. Um, otherwise, I would try to really keep that pace up if you can because it's we want to burn those shoulders out and deltoids. Exercise four, exercise four. So you're almost done at this point, but this is actually the worst one. Sorry. This is the, this is the bad part I was telling you about. So look, here's what you're going to do. Push up position. Push up, shoulder tap, push up, shoulder tap, push up, shoulder tap. All right, now, here's where we start to run into trouble. You feel like you're gonna face plant and your shoulders, I think by now we've exhausted your shoulders. So if your shoulders are just no longer cooperating, which is highly likely, and you feel like you're just gonna face plant, I'd rather you do 30 seconds, do as many as you can. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to keep a fast pace. But the second 30 second set, if you feel like you are just dying, just shoulder tap it, plank it. Don't worry about the shoulder, you don't worry about your uh, push up. Plank it, shoulder tap. Plank it, shoulder tap. Now you're, you're gonna have to shift your hip just a little bit, but you wanna not sway, right? So you just wanna watch your sway when you're doing that. If you can do one more round of the push ups for the first four rounds, that would be awesome. By the time you get to the second set, like the second repeat, you know, repeat four sets, you're probably going to be straight planking at that point, strength uh, plank to the shoulder tap. So at that point, 30 second hold here, tap, tap, tap. And just reposition every single time you tap, re, re address the act. So re squeeze in the act. Let go. When you tap, re squeeze. Because when you tap, you're focusing on this, you're gonna let the abs go just a hair, and then re-squeeze, tap, re-squeeze, tap, okay? Because you're gonna get a lot of ab work in there too. Okay, so supplements we wanna talk about. Um, glutamine and creatine are what you need to be taking uh, if you're 
super duper duper sore, we can go ahead and start taking some BCAAs, but honestly, I'd rather you start with the glutamine and some creatine, even if we're just microdosing, so small amounts. So um, hit me back with information on what you currently are taking so we can see what that looks like and let me know how you do, okay? I'll send you tomorrow's workout.